Arts. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Wayne. We've already had a little fun. Oh yeah, we, here we've had bit. some fun, yes. But I'm a little disappointed. Uh oh. You're from Wishick and you don't speak German. What's the deal? Uh, you know, my grandparents did and my parents did, yeah. and then we just, I don't know. We didn't, but kinda I kind of lost you, it over kinda, time. Yeah, yeah, lost it over time. It is amazing because even here at work, and I digress, but even here at work, 20 years ago, I, there were several people that I could speak German to. Really? Now there's one, and that's Cindy at the front desk. Wow. So. All right, you guys got big doings coming up, and it starts on the 29th. But even before that, I was reading something about a, a wagon train or yes. something like that that starts actually in Eureka, South Dakota. Yes, which is somebody's hometown. I My think. hometown. Yeah. Yeah, that's wagon where I spoke train. German. Yeah. Yes, wagon train starts in Eureka. Okay. And then it'll make its way to my hometown of Venturia. Got it. And then it'll come into Wishick. On the next day. So yes. it's, they'll, they'll overnight in Venturia, yes. right? Okay. Yes. And that's all part of the celebration. Absolutely. But the real, the, the, the real events really kick off on the 29th, which is Thursday. Yep. And there are so many things. And I've got a list written down here. And I want to start with this. Music. If you, if oh. you want any kind of music from right. polka to rock. Absolutely. We've got it covered. We've got... We've got music for the moms and dads and right. the grandparents out there. We've got Dakota Rangers, yep. which is, again, pulling an Eureka person, sure. Ashley people. Um, we've got the Emter family. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, all the way up to, you, you might have heard of Hairball. Hairball. Okay, and your mom said it was... I think she called it Hairdo. Hairdo. Yeah, when they played so, Nashley several years ago. Yeah, yeah. so Hairdo, Hairball. <laughs> yeah. We got Hairball, and... Um, they're going to be performing for free. Yep, Johnny Holm band, same thing. Johnny Holm, Thursday Slam Alabama, yes. Tripwire. So many. And yes. then there are events going on all the way through the weekend. One of the things that really caught my eye, and we're going to get to the food vendors and things like that, but you've got to tell me about the Looney Lutherans. The Looney Lutherans. Well, you know, I'm Catholic, but I think the, I'm Lutheran. The, the, yeah, so the Catholics can laugh at the Lutherans, the Lutherans at the Catholics. Exactly. I heard that they were in linton okay. recently and some people were over there and they said they just had belly laughs yep. it was so much fun so it's like yeah our committee is like let's get them sounds so like they're it. actually going to be form, performing twice and people are going to be really able Absolutely. to relate to them and then there's a local uh, production too the great ice cream scheme yes. that's being put on by people from, from yes the uh tammy roweeder is going she is in charge of it she is doing the production of it and it's all local people sure. So you come there and you see, you know, it might be somebody from the grocery store, from your church or whatever, and they're in the play. Just fun. Yeah. The, one of the other things that I noticed on your rundown, and you, uh, I, the, the print on your rundown is so small because you guys have so much stuff going on. One of the other things that I noticed was <clears throat> the, the photo displays and the, ex the exhibits for that. That's going to take some people back in time and really stir some memories, isn't it? Yeah, that, that is awesome. Sandy Feekner from New York, mm -hmm. originally from uh, Wishick. Uh, she contacted me and Doris Bettenhausen earlier this winter and said, hey, could we pull this together? Mm -hmm. So it's, we have 105-year-old Gideon Boji. Wow. Yeah. He is the oldest person. And then we have some twins that were just born this year. And we've got everyone else covered. And so it's, it's going to be all around in this building. And you just come in and it's like an art exhibit. It's just going to be fantastic. You know, as a publicity chair, this has been a labor of love for you, hasn't it? Because I can see the enthusiasm for you, and it's finally here. It's been yeah. something that you've really poured your heart and soul into. You know, I, I think I've done such a tiny amount compared to the the, the people on yeah. the, the committee there. I mean, we have some of the most die-hard um, people on that committee that that have been on there for the previous celebration yeah. as well. And they just... 25 years ago. 25 years ago. They're just giving their heart to this. And, and you can tell at those meetings, it gets... It gets personal, and it gets, they really want yeah. the best for Wishick. You know, and time flies so much, so we're almost out of time, but there's going to be plenty of food. We also want to make sure, support the local restaurants and yes. those people, too, that have been there for, for yep. years and years and years. Yep, that's why I made sure that they're on the back of the, the flyer, so yep. everybody goes out and goes to our local people and spends time. Get, get the souvenirs, yep. get the local food, also get from the food trucks. Just come to wish you can have a great time. It's going to be a great time. And Heidi doesn't know this, but she just promised great weather all the days. 29th, <laughs> 30th, 1st, 2nd. That's the final day is July 2nd. All right. Yvonne Engelhart, the publicity chair for the Wishick 125th celebration, which is also known as the Quasi. There you go. All right. We're taking a break. We're going to talk to AARP. We know what to go to today.